for a doon! Hey guys, it's Nuka Star to bring you an FP VOD. And yes, we have saved the best for last. Jadong versus Movie. This is the final series of the OSL round of 36. Of course, I don't know if these are going to be the best games of the round of 36, but this certainly has the biggest billing so far of the round of 36. We got a former silver medalist of the OSL Movie. And of course, Jadong, multiple gold medalists. He's won three OSLs and two MSLs, and multiple silvers in both leagues. So, just looking on paper, you'd say, well, obviously Jadong's going to win. But you have to remember that Movie made a name for himself with his awesome Protoss versus Zerg play. So, we have one of the best Protoss versus Zerg players going up against one of the best Zerg versus Protoss players. So, no secret why I'm excited about this one. So, yes, I think this is going to be an awesome matchup. No matter who wins. I want both these guys in the round of 16, but the Brood War Gods will not have it. We are the Brood War Gods. You have enough awesomeness in the round of 16 already. Except, okay, down at the 5 o'clock position in green is Movie. So that means down at the 8 o'clock position in beige is Jadong. Let's see if he's cutting in the right direction. Oh, no, he's not. What? Something is drastically wrong here. But... Yeah, we'll see how he can cope without his early scouting inf information that he always has because he always cheats and scouts in the right direction. Oh, well, maybe his uh, star sense is a bit off today. But okay, yes, this will be a spectacular matchup. Um, both these guys are not playing at their peak. Both are doing fairly well in Pro League. They're doing okay. And, uh, I think they're both kind of picking themselves up. Um, slowly getting up to their highest level of play that they're known for. Movie, of course, in the Ever OSLs, when he really broke out, uh, had a pretty epic uh, semi-final against Shine, showed off his PvZ skills, uh, some Dark Archon play, which he's been trying to bring back in Protoss versus Protoss recently. And Jadong, just all around good. Jadong is the... Well, I don't want to call him an average player, but he's just so all around good and everything. He has so many great builds, great micro, great macro. He's good against every race. He has over 60% uh, record in all of his matchups, just like Flash. Although Flash, does Flash still have over 70 in all of his matchups? I think he dropped below 70 in one of them. I can't remember. P probably versus Zerg. So Jadong's got a little bit of catching up to do. He has some of his uh, matchups are close to 70%. He has about 68 um, versus Protoss or Terran. I think Terran is at 62 and he's 75 against uh, Zerg. That is all off the top of my head, so no telling if it's right or not. Oh, there comes Movie. He's going to scout everything that Jadong's up to, and Jadong finally going to scout Movie. Uh, I'm in a particularly good mood today because uh, as a subscriber brought to my attention last night, uh, there was someone, it was in in the uh, Hwasian Oz versus Height Pro League series the other night, well, probably last night for most people watching, um, someone held up a sign, and it had my name on it and my uh, icon. I don't know if he made the icon just for me, but it was like, hey, what's up, Ranchin, Nuke, Mole Trap? So I think that's the first time I've ever been... Whoa, the drone goes down. What, Jadong? Ah, oh, Jadong loses a drone trying to deny the Nexus. That is a very early drone to lose. So he's not feeling too good. But like I said, I'm feeling great. Seeing my name on uh, Korean TV like that, that was very cool. And I believe that that's the first time that that's ever happened. If it's happened before, I haven't seen it anywhere, and no one brought it to my attention. So feeling good about that. And I think I confused the Koreans because they were trying to read my name. They're like, what? I, I nuke the what? I don't, I don't get it. So movie trying to take down another drone pushes luck a little bit. He's like, eh, let's see if, uh, if Jadong's getting sloppy. Maybe he'll lose another drone here. But the scout is still in there for movie. Not sure if he knows about that brand new base yet coming up at the 10 o'clock base. 10 o'clock position. But he'll know about it soon enough when he goes out with his scout to look for that third base. But Jadong losing a drone this early is horrible. Of course, Jadong 
sometimes he tries to prove a point with his micro, with his early drone micro, and it ends up uh, failing him. It didn't fail him there, though. Took down the scout, so movie's got to send down another one. But I'm reminded of when Jadong was in the, uh, the Batu OSL finals against Fantasy. And in the final game, he had been making a comeback. He had come back two games, and we were in the final game, the fifth set, and he was trying to make a statement. You could tell he was trying to make a statement out there, fighting one SCV with a single drone, trying to micro that around, do his best, but he lost the drone anyway. So that kind of uh, put it, <laughs> kind of hampered his spirits a bit. Even though he ended up winning that game in the series, still uh, that was very, very risky play from him. And he actually went out with another drone after that to try to take down the SCV and almost lost that too. So sometimes Jadong pushes his luck a little bit too much to make a point. And that's what he did earlier, trying to deny that Nexus, thinking, my drone can beat this freaking probe. But the probe uh, obviously got the shot in first because he took that down. There's another scout being intercepted by Jadong. At least he knows where that probe is right now. He's going to try to intercept it before it runs into the natural expansion. Stargate coming up for moving, and he's upgrading plus one attack. So he's going to use that first Corsair to scout what Jadong is up to, most likely. And Jadong is going for a very, very standard build. Probably three hatch uh, Spire and two five hatch Hydra. Most likely build from him, I think. But Movie has done well on this map before against Zerg players. I'm remembering his games in the Ever OSL on this map were pretty spectacular. I mean, when Movie wins when most Protoss players would not. He just pulls off moves that most Protoss players wouldn't even think of, breaking through the sunken lines. Just pushing his luck so much and really getting the job done. So, movie, he has become one of the best. Okay, cameraman, get it adjusted. But yeah, he's definitely become one of the best Protoss vs. Zerg players out there. Just because of his unique style in this matchup. But uh, there are some other good Protoss players that are taking up the reins as far as that goes. Bisu is getting good again versus Zerg. He displayed that recently in a couple of leagues. So, it's good to see Bisu back. Uh, up on the horse because he was the one who kind of pioneered this uh, whole matchup in the first place. How to play it anyway with Dark Templar and Corsair as effectively as he used it. So, okay. Uh, I almost said Bisu there, but Movie, Movie is getting the scouting right now and deciding to take down an Overlord before the Scourge pop. Trying to draw Jadong's attention here with a few Zealots in the middle of the map. 